There is none, Lord Jesus, that is worthy of all praise. All honor, dominion, and power belongs to you, the only wise God. Father, as we are gathered together, Almighty God, in your house this morning, Father, we come, Almighty God, to give you what is due unto your name, Almighty God. All hail, King Jesus. Hallelujah. All hail, Emmanuel. Father, you are worthy to be praised and to be adored, Almighty God. From the rising of the sun unto the setting of the same. You reign, almighty God. Father, even now, almighty God, I plead your blood in this place, almighty God. I plead your blood in the nations of this world, almighty God. And I decree you to be the only wise God, the God that sits upon your throne. Before this world was, you were God. And even after God, you will forever be God. And we lift you up, almighty God. For you reign, hallelujah. You reign, at Adonai, oh God of heaven, almighty God, you said that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are called according to your purpose, almighty God. And Father, even now, almighty God, I sound the trumpet in Zion and I command, almighty God, Zion, almighty God, to stand still in the name of Jesus Christ because even in the midst of COVID-19, Almighty God, Father, Lord Jesus, Zion is waiting, Almighty God, because according to your word, Lord Jesus, you said, Almighty God, that the harvest is plenty, oh God of heaven, and the laborers are few, Almighty God, and Father, even now, you said that we must pray to you, the God of heaven, Almighty God, who is, Almighty God, the Father of the harvest, Almighty God, and Father, even now, Almighty God, as I pl place, Almighty God, and sound the trumpet in Zion, Almighty God, for the people of the living God to stand and wait for those that are in fear and in tremor and in turmoil, Adonai, for they are coming in, Lord Jesus. And so, Almighty God, we are waiting, and Almighty God, with expectancy, God, for the souls that are coming, Almighty God, according to your word, you said, Almighty God, that some are saved out of fear. And so it was for me, God, and so, Almighty God, the apostolic movement, the church of God, the body of Christ is waiting, God, for the souls that are coming, Almighty God. And Father, even now, Almighty God, we are prepared for those for them that are coming, Almighty God. We are waiting, God, for them, Almighty God, because the house of the living God is prepared. The counselors are here, healing is here, healing is here for those, Almighty God, that are weeping. Hallelujah. Healing is here, Almighty God, for those that are sick and depressed, Almighty God. Father, deliverance is in your house, Almighty God. And so we stand in awe of what it is that you're going to be doing, God, because indeed your word is sure that all things work together for good, Almighty God. And Father, even now, Almighty God, our spirits are lifted up in awe, Almighty God, because worship, God, is being lifted up from the earth unto the God of heaven. Oh God of heaven, you said that if your people that are called by your name, if only we humble ourselves and pray, Father, you promise God that you will hear from heaven, almighty God. And Father, we don't need to be worried. We are not even worried about anything, God, because we know, almighty God, our Lord Jesus, that healing, almighty God, the cure is already set up, almighty God, in heaven to be released, almighty God, in that particular doctor through whomever you choose almighty God to send the remedy almighty God and father for those nations of the world almighty God who rejected you as God who rejected you as the king of kings and the lord of lords they are going to be bowing and calling upon the name of Jesus father we know that is already started almighty God and father even now the body of Christ are rejoicing almighty God for the souls that are going to be coming father we give you the glory father we give you the praise according to your word you said almighty God that the joy of the Lord is indeed our strength almighty God and father almighty God the joy that you're being released almighty God that you have already released almighty God in the body of Christ almighty God the world can't take it away almighty God father indeed you are the giver of good gifts God and father even now almighty God I decree and declare almighty God that every gift almighty 
Almighty God, that has been underutilized, Almighty God, underutilized, God, in the body of Christ. I call it into manifestation even now, God. Father, we give you the glory. We give you the honor and the praise for who is like my God. Father God, you reign, hallelujah. You reign, Adonai. And so all praises belong to you. All glory, honor, dominion, and power, God, belongs only to you, Almighty God. And Father, even now, Almighty God, I place before you worship. Before it even is released, God, I decree nothing will be able to hinder God, the move of your glory, as the praise team worship and minister to you, hailing you and putting you in a rightful place as they always do, God, I'm heaven. Father, even now, I decree, God, before the word comes, God, it is already anointed, God. Oh, God of heaven, and those who will, who will be hearing, God, their hearts will be lifted up in joy. They will be strengthened. They will be empowered, Almighty God. For indeed, Almighty God, we will hope thou in God, who is the help of our countenance, Almighty God. Father, whether we live, Almighty God, or whether we die, Father, you reign in majesty, oh God of heaven. And so we lift you up, Adonai. We give you the glory. We give you the honor and the praise. All hail King Jesus. <laughs> All hail Emmanuel, be thou lifted up, almighty God, in the nations of this world, almighty God. Father, because there is a generation, almighty God, that has been hungering and thirsting for more of your glory. And Father, even now release, God, the hunger and the thirst that is there within our spirit for more of who you are. Have thine own way, almighty God, in this place. Amongst us, almighty God, as we continue to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise for who is like our God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless Amen. the Lord. Today's lesson will be taken from Isaiah chapter 53 from verses 1 to 5. Isaiah chapter 53 from verses 1 to 5. Who hath believed or report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should not desire him. He is despised and rejected of men as man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, and, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Five and last. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and, his tri and by his stripes we are healed. This is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords all the praise that he deserves. Mighty God, we honor you this morning. We lift you up. You are our King of Kings and our Lord of Lords. There is none that can be compared to you, God. Father, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. Mighty God, no rock shall cry out in my place this morning. I have a voice to give you praise and that I will use it to do, Daddy Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. You call me out upon the water, the great unknown, my feet may fail. And there I found you in the mystery, in oceans deep, my faith will stand. And I will call upon your name, and keep my eyes above the Oceans rise. 
eyes, my soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours, and you are mine. Yeah. 
am a child, for I, I am a child of God. See, I'm no longer, I'm no longer there's nothing that will fear God, there's nothing that can stand before me, God, for I, I am a child of God. The mountain that cannot be moved, mighty God, I'm no longer a slave.
the victory. We have the victory through Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have the victory. Hallelujah. Who can stand before us when we go in that great name? Jesus. Jesus. Precious Jesus. We have the victory. We have the victory. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Such a beautiful name. Such a wonderful name. There is assurance in that name. The name of Jesus. At that name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. That he rules our situation. That he is God above all gods. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We have the victory. service today. It's indeed an honor to welcome you and to usher you into the presence of God. It's no light feat. It's not to be underestimated the fact that we are able to gather in such a fashion regardless of the times that we are able to celebrate Jesus. We are able to still boast of the wondrous works of God. That we are able to call on that great name and just welcome his presence in our midst. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You still care about us. Hallelujah. Let me also remind you that in light of what is happening in and around our communities, in around our country and the world at large, let me just encourage each and everyone just to continue to be safe, practice that to which will render you safe, as best as you can but even in this atmosphere let us not forget to call on that great name the name of Jesus our pastor brought the Bible study to us this week and we were reminded how important it is not to, to depend on ourselves but to lean on the name of Jesus thank you Lord for that word and just before our pastor come let me also remind you that for those interested in participating in our offering, in our tithes and other such collections and charities, we ask that you will, if possible, visit the office. We are still open between Mondays to Fridays at 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can stop by. For those interested in using our point of sale machine, you may do so at the office. As well as for those who wish to try another means, you may contribute directly to our NCB account and the account number is 35110-4988. Again, that's 35110-4988. And that is the Nutsford Boulevard branch. All right. And we ask that you would just continue to pray for us as we as well continue to pray for you and to encourage each and every one of you to just focus on Jesus. He is the reason why we move, we live, and in him we can have our being. We give him all the glory, all the honor, and the praise. And in this charged environment and atmosphere, I encourage you to just open your hearts and be receptive to the word as our dear pastor brings the word to us. Pastor Hortense Wright. Thank you, Jesus.
against the Lord. No one can, no one will. Oh, we bless your name. Who can stand against the Lord? Hey, no one, no one. His holy name. I want to give honor to our King of Kings, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our Abba, our Father, the one we can't do without. We exalt him and we lift him up because he is Lord. Please receive greetings from our general overseer, Pastor Andrew Wayne Steele, and First Lady, Pastor Margaret Steele. From all the ministers, all the leaders, all God's wonderful people at New Life Community Church International Worship Center, wherever you are, driving in your cars, in your living room, in your kitchen, Wherever you are, we greet you in the exalted name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I have a word from the Lord from last week, battling with this word until the Lord gave me peace and assurance to say this word is from him. So the word of God today is going to be for those who are outside of the ark of safety and for the church, the body of Christ. So I'm going to ask you to turn with me to Proverbs chapter 14, verse 34, and also Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. So Proverbs 14, verse 34 says, Righteousness exalts a nation. Sin is a reproach to any people. And I want to say that again. Righteousness exalts a nation. Sin is a reproach to any people. Ecclesiastes 12 verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God. Hallelujah. Fear God and keep his commandments. His commandments are his words. For this is the whole duty of man. Praise God. What is sin? The Apostle Paul tells us that sin is the transgression of the law. He says that whosoever commits sin transgresseth also the law. Transgression, what is transgression? Transgression is doing something, anything that goes against the word of Almighty God. It could be cheating on a test. It could be cheating on one's spouse. It could be living in fornication or living in adultery. Anything at all that goes against the word of Almighty God is a transgression. In Romans 3 verse 20, Paul instructs us that by the law is the knowledge of sin. In Romans 7 verse 7, Paul reflects that he would not have known sin 
except through the law. So we must know God's law in order to identify sin. The psalmist David writes in Psalm 119 verse 136, rivers of water run down from my eyes because men do not keep your law. The psalmist was weeping because he came to the recognition that people were not obeying God's law. People were not obeying the word of God. And he could see what their disobedience would lead to. Ruin and death. Hallelujah. Sin is deviation from what is good and right. It means that you miss following the standard of Almighty God. There are two aspects to this scripture. The Bible says righteousness or right living exalts a nation. It means that right living by the people of any nation will cause that nation to become great. It means that right living will cause that nation to be lifted up by almighty God. It means that right living by that nation will be blessed by almighty God. It means that right living by that nation will experience abundance from almighty God. The next aspect, sin is a reproach to any people. What is the scripture saying? The scripture is saying that sin brings disgrace and unnecessary suffering to any people, to any nation. Sin will bring the judgment of God in our lives. Sin, let me say that again, if we continue in sin and transgress the word of God, sin will bring the judgment of God in our lives. Each nation is either one or the other. We can choose God's way or our own way, but there is no middle ground. We can't have both. Amen. Hallelujah. It is not politicians that lifts up a nation. It is living a life in adherence to God's word. Can somebody praise him? Let me say that again. It is not our politician. It is not our government that lifts up a nation. It is living a life in adherence to the word of God. Hallelujah. Moses, praise God, was living in the nation of Egypt among a people who did not know the true and living God. They were idol worshipers. He had a choice to stay among them. And he would probably become the next pharaoh, the next king of the greatest nation at that time on the face of the earth. Or he could give it all up. The riches, the glamour, the fame, the popularity, and now identify himself with the Israelites who were God's people. It was a choice. Hallelujah. It was a choice that Moses had to make. Thank God he made the right choice. Hallelujah. He took faith for Moses to give up his place in the palace. He could do it because he saw the fleeting nature of wealth and prestige and saw the eternal values of God's kingdom. The scripture says, choose in this day. Can I talk to somebody? Choose in this day whom you will serve. If God be God, serve him. Yes. Hallelujah. I said choose in this day. I'm talking right to somebody in the living room. Choose in this day whom you will serve. If God be God, serve him. The scripture says in Matthew 6 verse 24, no one can serve two masters. For either you will hate the one 
or love the other or else hallelujah he will be loyal to the one and despise the other you cannot serve god and mammon what is mammon it is money it is riches no wonder the scripture says that the love or the greed of money is the root of all evil. Our loyalty must be to God. Our loyalty to God. Our loyalty to God must be undivided. Amen. We have to keep our hearts, our soul, and our mind focused on serving God alone. God is not in the sharing business. He's not going to share you with the devil. He's either God or the devil. He's a jealous God. He wants our undivided attention. We must be totally, completely sold out to God. We must be totally, completely as children of God. Surrendered to Almighty God. The Father knows the things you have need of before you ask Him. For the Bible says, But seek ye first. Hallelujah. Can I talk to somebody? But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you the food, the house. The land, the wife, the husband, the money. But God said, seek me first. Put me first. And when you put me first, I'm going to take care of you. When you put me first, I'm going to supply all your needs according to my riches in glory. So Moses made the right choice. The Bible tells us in Hebrews 11, 25, that he chose. It's a choice. You got to choose to serve God or choose to serve the devil. The Bible says, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to endure or to enjoy the pleasures of sin. For a season. Sin is only for a season. Sin has consequences. Sometimes they are deadly consequences. God is seeking in this season to get the attention of the people of God as well as those who don't know him. He's seeking to get the attention of the world. You got to bow now. It's a choice. Or you'll be forced to bow later. He's bringing the nations of this world together through this disease. COVID-19. COVID-19 has placed everybody on a level playing field. Woo! That's one of the benefits. It has placed everybody on a level playing field. Everybody should by this time realize that none is better than the other. For we are all made, hallelujah, in the image of God and likeness of God. And we are all equal in the eyes of God. COVID-19. Is no respecter of persons. COVID-19 is attacking the young. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's attacking the old. It's attacking the babies. It's attacking the toddlers. It's attacking the rich. It's attacking the poor. It's attacking the homeless. It's attacking the beggar. It's attacking the black. It's attacking the white. It's attacking the Hispanic. It's attacking the Chinese. It is no respect of persons. And let me tell you, God, our God, 
is no respecter of persons. He sent his son Jesus Christ to die for the sins of all mankind. And it is not his will. Can I say that again to somebody? It is not God's will for anybody to perish. But that all will come to repentance. God is waiting for the people in the nations of the world to turn to him and repent. Jamaica needs to turn. China, you need to turn. United Kingdom, you need to turn. Italy, thousands are dying. You need to turn to Almighty God. USA, you need to turn. Spain and Germany, you need to turn. All the nations of the world, you need to turn to Almighty God. Repent! For the old duty of man is to fear God. Hallelujah. And keep his commandments. He's not leaving out those in the body of Christ, the church. For the Bible says, hallelujah, that judgment, my God, must begin at the house of God. First Peter 4, 17 says, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be? Of them that obey not the gospel of Christ. Can I talk to the believers? God has got this. He's in control. When God is ready, he will bring. And let me say that again. Only when God is ready, is he going to bring an end to this plague. Do not fear, church. Let me encourage you. Hide in the secret place of the Most High. God is going to bring us out. And he alone will receive glory out of all of this. The church, let me talk to the body of Christ. Because the church has to hold itself to a higher standard of living than we once did. First Corinthians eleven thirty two says, but when we are judged, mm -hmm, judgment must first begin in the house of God. So the scripture says, but when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world the church needs to come to come together the church needs to be unified god loves his church and he's doing what needs hallelujah to be done to get the church ready judgment for the people of god is considered to be discipline it is designed to purge us from sin it is designed to teach us obedience to the word of God. David says, when he saw himself, after he had sinned against God, he had committed adultery with Bathsheba. He had murdered her husband. When he came to the realization that he had sinned against God, he went down in sackcloth, oh God, and ashes. God is waiting on the church and the nations of the world to bow their knees and to cry out unto him. David said, purge me with this up. Meaning, cleanse me, sprinkle me with your blood. Hallelujah, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. He said, create in me a clean heart. Hallelujah, oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Somebody need to be crying out like David and say, God, I have sinned against heaven. And I've sinned against you. But
but here I am, Lord. Have your way. I am bowing now. Hallelujah. I am bowing now. I'm surrendering my life to you. A loving father begins discipline in his own house. A loving father begins discipline in his own house to his own children. Mm -hmm. That's the God we serve I'm talking about. He's going to correct his own first. So that's why judgment must begin in the house of God. That is how much God loves his church. He chastens us. He corrects us through discipline so that we will see ourselves and turn away from sin and turn to him. David says, thy word. Hallelujah. The church needs to go back to standing on the word of almighty God. David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Psalm 119 verse 11. Those of us who are playing with sin. Those of us in the church. And in this case, it would be the building. Hallelujah, because the church of the living God is ready. Know that God is about to, to judge us. So I want to talk to the church today. Get your house. Oh, glory to his name. I said God is trying to get not only the attention of the world, but he's trying to get the attention of his people. Let me talk to the church. Get your house in order. Get back to the word of God. Get back to right living. Get back to the altar. David says, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. Psalm 119 verse 9. Isaiah 55 verse 7 says, Let the wicked, O oh God, forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Some people think it's just the unbelievers that have wickedness. No, the word of the Lord says that God's people also have wicked ways. So the scripture says, if my people, my people, God's people who are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. So all of us have wicked ways and God is saying, forsake your wicked ways. The scripture says, let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God. And keep his commandments. God is saying to us, give up your evil ways. Give up your evil ways. Give up your wicked ways. Give up your evil thoughts. Give up your wicked thoughts. Return to me and I will forgive you. Hallelujah. Of your sins. Because the scripture says if we confess our sins, he, God, is faithful. We serve a faithful God. He honors his word above his name. Conditional. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and he's just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Can I talk to somebody today? God is using this season to tell the church, wake up! Can I talk to the members of the body of Christ? God 
is speaking to us and he's saying, wake up. Wake up world. Wake up. Those who are in the ark of safety, stay in the ark. Judgment is about to hit the church. Judgment is about to hit the world. Wake up. Oh, glory. Those who are outside of the ark of safety, run. Not even walk. Hallelujah. You need to run into the ark of safety before the doors are closed. Wake up world. Time is running out. Jesus is coming soon. Plans are on the way for the Antichrist to expose himself to the world. The mark of the beast is upon us. Hallelujah. It is shifting time. Wake up church. Wake up world. God is getting ready. Can I talk to somebody? God is getting ready to move. All those who have been playing church, not living for the Lord the way you ought to, you better wake up. All those who used to sleep in church, and sit in their sit down on their praise and worship. Let me talk to you. Wake up! All those who are lukewarm, hallelujah. Let me talk to you. Wake up! Before God spew you out of his mouth. Get out! Get on fire! Church of the living God! Get on fire for God! Oh, glory to God! Jeremiah said. Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak anymore in his name. But his word, hallelujah, was in my heart as a burning fire. Oh, glory to God. Shut up in my bones. Oh, let me talk to the church today. Let the fire of God once more burn in our hearts wake up church wake up wake up world get right with god those of us who used to just come to church now and again when we feel like it you want to come to church now but covid 19 has caused the church building to lock down wake up The Lord says we should not neglect the assembling of ourselves together. Wake up! Church of the living God. All those who used to sleep. When word is being taught and preached. Hallelujah. Some of you want to hear word now and you can't hear it. Wake up! I want to talk to somebody. You want to hear word now. From the pulpit. Hallelujah. But you can't. Because the doors of the building of the church is locked down. God is talking to his church. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up somebody. Too many spiritually dead people. Oh God. I said too many spiritually dead people in the house of God. Too many sleepers. Wake up church. Wake up body of Christ. Wake up. Too many of God's people living in immorality. Too many of God's people living in sin. Lying. Stealing. Those who are committed adultery, those who are hiding behind the choir and hiding in the congregation, committing fornication. God say, repent! Church, repent! Wake up! For judgment is going to begin in the house of God. The people in Noah's days were warned to get into the ark Noah preaches art out 
but they did not heed his warning. Those who were in the ark were saved. Those who were outside of the ark perished. Can I talk to somebody? Put your house in order. Put your house in order. Isaiah 26, 20 and 21. The Lord says, come my people. Enter thou into thy chambers. Shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Judgment. God is about to smite the church and the world with judgment. And he's saying, wake up church. Wake up world. It is God's time. There's a payday coming for sin. Romans 6 verse 23 says, the wages of sin is death. God has a gift for those who turn, for those who are serving him. He says, but the gift of God is eternal life. Can I talk to somebody today? Those who don't know him, the ark, the door of the ark is still open. Run into the ark of safety. The church, those who are in the ark of safety. God is saying it's time to lock down. Lock yourselves down and seek my face. Wake up church. Wake up world. Judgment. The judgment of God is going to be poured out. Get it right. Make it right with almighty God before it is too late. God bless you. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Somebody lift your hands and just worship him. Worship him, somebody. Give him praise. Hide yourself, somebody, from the judgment. Hallelujah. Keep yourself covered. Hallelujah. Under the blood of Jesus, dwell in the secret place. And ensure that the fire does not go out on your altar. God bless you, people of the Most High God. We want to give thanks to all of God's people who are here. And at this time, I want to pray the blessings of Almighty God upon you all Lord Jesus God of Abraham God of Isaac God of Jacob we worship you we honor you we praise you we give you all the glory that is due unto your most holy name in you we live, in you we move. In you we have our very being, almighty God. We thank you for your covering upon your people. We thank you that you love us so much. That you are trying to get our attention. So that as a body we can draw close to you. For you said that if we draw near to you, you will draw near to us. We commit your people into your hands, almighty God. May they give heed to the words of the Lord to know that judgment must first begin in the house of God. For the Bible says if we will judge ourselves, we will have no need to be judged. May we Examine ourselves, Almighty God, and turn and give our total being to you. 
We pray for our frontliners, those who are risking their lives to save lives, the doctors, the nurses, our government, our prime minister, Dr. Christopher Tufton. Oh God, those who head the Minister of Health, those who work along with our God, all the frontliners, our police officers, the army. Oh God Almighty, we pray for them that your covering will rest upon them and that COVID-19 will not locate them. We pray, Almighty God, that during this challenging time that they will lift up their eyes onto the hills knowing that their help cometh from you. Almighty God, bless this nation. Bless the nations of the world. Heal those who are sick. Visit them, Almighty God, that they will call upon your name. Let your will be done in this season and seasons beyond. We give you all the praise and we give you all the glory that is due unto your name. In the anointed name of Jesus, we pray and for your glory. Amen, amen, amen. Bless God, everybody. Just like you to know that this service is coming from NLCCI Worship Center. We are located in Spanish Town in the community of De La Vega City, 1A Port Anderson Road. Our phone numbers, you can contact us at our church office. Our phone numbers are 876-907-2317. 876-943-9286. We decree the blessings of Almighty God upon you. You turn over your life to God. The Bible said no plague shall come nigh your dwelling. God bless you. Be blessed. <laughs>